Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. Today we are going to teach you a really good, easy, and safe method to get silica pearls and oil. It doesn't give you as much as a lot of other methods that we'll teach you later on, but this is by far the safest and easiest way to get these resources. We will also give you a little sneak peek on some techniques that we'll use later on in the game to get much more oil and pearls, and we'll teach you how to do that too. So I have gotten several questions from people asking where to find silica pearls and oil on ARC. And uh, those are going to be very important resources as we're getting into electricity because we'll turn the oil into gasoline to power generators and we'll be using the silica pearls to make electronics which are used in almost all electrical appliances. And the fastest, safest, and easiest way to grab these is to just kill these little trilobites that you find on the beach. Now, you don't find these all the time, and we'll give you some tips on how to get those more often, but every time you see a trilobite, I highly recommend attacking and killing it as fast as you possibly can, and be sure to use a metal pickaxe to actually harvest it, because that gets you more pearls and oil, whereas a hatchet gets you more chitin. It's also the safest and easiest way to get chitin. Now, something a lot of people don't know is that in the mornings, that's when trilobites tend to come out from the ocean and get up onto the beach, which makes them a lot easier to see. You can also get black pearls from trilobites, which is a very hard thing to get. So every morning, what I do is I hop on my pteranodon and I go all the way around all the beaches nearby and just keep an eye out for trilobites. And if you see one, just jump down and attack it. You can kill them pretty easily with your pickaxe as long as you're standing between them and the water because they always run straight for the water when you start attacking them. If you just shoot them once with a crossbow, you'll probably kill them, but I like to save ammo as much as possible. Now, there are a lot of other methods to get pearls in arc, but that is just by far the safest and easiest way. You'll only get a couple silica pearls per trilobite, but if you just keep doing this every morning, you can probably get enough pearls that by the time you need to make electronics, you'll have enough to have a pretty good start. Now, there's other methods we'll teach you later, like we'll teach you how to tame an otter to get decent amounts of silica pearls very safely and easily just by hunting fish with it. But the most common method that most people know about is actually going down into the deeper oceans on a dolphin and gathering them from clams all along the seacoast. But in order to do that, you have to go and fight a bunch of sharks, you have to actually tame a dolphin, which takes a lot of work, and you're going to need to build a dolphin pen, which is also a decent amount of work. Now, I've showed you how to do all of those in my Ragnarok Guide series, and at this point you're probably familiar enough with the controls that I don't need to go over those, so we'll drop a link in the description with a lot of uh, links on these guides for how to tame dolphins, how to build a dolphin pen, and how to actually get pearls and oil. So. Be sure to check those out if you want to try this method, but as you can see here, I'm taking my dolphin down to the coastal shelf, which is pretty deep as it is, and then we're going to be able to run for our lives from all of the sharks, and uh, you've got to have a pretty decent dolphin to do this effectively. But as you can see here, there are sharks everywhere, and as soon as you set foot in the ocean, the sharks are just going to come straight for your dolphin and kill it. If you tame a dolphin without a dolphin pen to put it in, the shark will kill it anyway, even if you're not riding it, and you also have to worry about your oxygen running out. So it's a much more difficult and dangerous way to get pearls and oil, but you can get a decent amount from that technique. And uh, be sure to check out the links in the description if you want to try using that technique. But uh, once again, I'm sorry for the low quality on my Ragnarok guide. So there's another really amazing way we can get pearls on the island, which I'll teach you later on when I have a, a good access access into the Arctic regions, but this should be enough if you just keep gathering these trilobites that you should be in pretty good shape for pearls and oil by the time you start needing them. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. And uh, remember, once we get 900 subscribers on this channel, I will do a Bob Ross painting on the side of a brontosaur, so we'll make that well worth your while. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. 
Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.